Good evening and welcome once again. Well, the campus of Chattahoochee Valley Community College getting ready for some exciting action. The Lady Pirates taking on the Lady Counties from Coastal North, Monrovia, Alabama. It's going to be a great contest. I've talked to some of the players on both sides. They're ready to roll. And I have with me my co-anchor today, Mr. Richard. Richard, good evening. Oh, it's great to be here, Robert. I'm excited about Chattahoochee Valley Community College playing the number one team in the conference, Coastal Alabama North. They are out of Monroeville. Monroeville. Yeah, Bay Bennett is the other campus, but it's uh, down down near the Mobile area. And we're Making on, the trip up. We're on our way, Richard. Of course, I call her the MVP, Haley Sanders, our point guard for CBC. Oh, Haley Sanders has been phenomenal all season long. The Pirates working around smoothly to our sharpshooter. Big block by Coastal. That was a great block. You said it was the number one team. They're already showing us why. Yeah, they do have good ball movement to start this game. Uh, fortunate for us, uh, unforced turnover right there. Saved two points because their bigs look like they're going to be dangerous throughout the contest. Well, also the Lady Pirates just trying to get some momentum, you know, playing on their home court. You know, they come into this game in third place right now with a 4-3 and three record in the division, 11-9 and nine overall. Like you mentioned, Coastal Alabama, 13-9 overall, 5-1 tied with Sneed State for first place with a 5-1 record. Off the mark by a sharpshooter, Miss Battle. Coastal quickly up the floor. Power move. Coastal retains. Here's the shot. Baskets good. Coastal Alabama, that's number one. That's Murphy. She's dangerous. Yeah, you kick it out to the shooter, leave her wide open. She's going to drill that, and that's how Coastal Alabama gets on the board first. Here's Haley now going to work. Yeah, we had a foul on CVCC. It's going to go back to Coastal Alabama. Yes. A foul on us. Well, you mentioned Haley Sanders, averaging 15.7 points a game. Oh, she's one of the top in the ACCC. Third in scoring in the ACC. Kaylee Boinkins also averaging 16 points a game. Oh, yeah. They lead the way for CVCC. Excellent. Nice turnover. Still, yeah, here we go. Nice Bas pass. Oh, quick hands from yeah. Coastal. I'm surprised they didn't call a foul there. We kind of lean away from talking about the officials because we want to stay on the air. <laughs> they really ruffled No, I mean, it was just one of those that was very close. It, it was very close. It was knocked cool. out of her hands, but it, it stays here with CVCC, and I think that's why they swallowed the whistle. Coastal with the rebound after uh, the, the Pirates missed it all. Tough contest so far, three to zip, first period. Three seconds, yes. There you go, another turnover for CVCC. I think if we can do the upset, Richard, I can feel it. That would be great, especially you know with the season winding down. They can gain closer to that first place in the region, in the division, rather. And that really would be great. Here's Haley going to work now. Looking for that screen. Here's Borkins. Almost oh. went in. Oh, but Boykin's going to go to the line for two. So the CVCC Lady Pirates are led by their first-year head coach, Joe Richardson. Uh, he has done a fantastic job just building a culture here for the Lady Pirates. Outstanding job. You know, we've seen success. Uh, we look at it across from where we are, all those banners. The Pirates have a rich history of winning. First shot is good by Borkins. Her free throw shooting has picked up as the season has went along. She's really improving. And that is good to see. I mean, you want to see your players just improving throughout the season. Coastal quickly up the floor after she missed the second one. Here's Murphy running the show. T 
tough D from the Lady Pirates. The Coyotes working around, stolen by the Pirates. Here's Haley. Turnover. Yes, great turnover by the Pirates. Haley setting it up. Here's our shooter. Sanders, here's a, sh here's a shot up top. Off the mark, rebound Haley. Off the mark. We got what we wanted that time, two excellent shots. Just couldn't convert, Richard. They're getting open looks, they're just not converting, like you mentioned. Coastal work it down low. Basket's good. That's number 22, Miss Thomas for Coastal. 5-1 hour score shortly in the contest. Pirates down. It's the Lady Pirates taking on the Lady Coyotes right here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. With the double R's calling it for you, Richard and Robert doing it. <laughs> I like that. Another turnover by the Pirates. Coach Richardson calls out the defense. I heard him say yellow. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 5-1 early lead for Coastal Alabama. But we had an opportunity. We could be in the lead. We missed a lot of shots. That basket's good. She's money right there. That's Thomas. She can shoot that all night long. 7-1. We've got to go to work. We can't get down. This is the number one team. We don't need to get in the hole early in the contest. Pirates call the play. Here's Borkins. Shot up top. Off the mark. We're getting the shots. They're just not falling. Well, Davis had an open look. Boinkin trying to save it with the rebound. And it's going to go back to Coastal Alabama. Up 7-1. Pirates going to their press, Richard. Here we go. This usually Brent play, pays some dividends off for us. Look at that. Look at that. Almost got it. Our ball. Well, if anything can show, like last night in college basketball, Robert, Alabama was down big to Georgia, and Alabama stormed back in that second half, put up 58 points in that second half. Anytime you can make adjustments, you get down early, you could just get some stops, knock down some threes. That's how you're able to claw your way back into a game. You're right about it. I saw that contest. It was outstanding. And she traveled. Travel. Pirates playing a little tentative. After missing some shots, they're not taking the open shot. They're kind of passing it around too much. But they're going to get that groove. I can feel it. 7-1, 5-23 remaining in the first period right here the headquarters of CBCC Basketball Key Hall. The Double R's giving you all the action. We got an exciting team, Coastal North, Monroe, Alabama, one of the, the top team in the number three team. Going at it here. Down low, that's gonna work all day long. Feeding it to the bigs. They're gonna call that foul on the floor. Non-shooting foul as they try to sort it out. It's the second team foul on CVCC. Look at that tough D by the Lady Pirates. Turnover, yes, that pressure D. Now the Lady Pirates, they're gonna get after it on defense. We just gotta get the offense going. Here we go. Here's Watkins bringing it across. Yeah, the leading scorer for Coastal Alabama is Talia Murph, who averages 8.5 points a game. Off the mark. Rebound. Nice rebound. Basket's good. There you go. That's how Davis gets it done. That's what I'm talking about. 7-3 now, our score. Stolen by Borkins. Basket's good. 7-5. Pirates with their press causing problems for Coastal. Timeout. Coach Armstrong. 4-0 run. Yes. The Pirates look alive now. Georgia, Alabama Sports, live at CVCC.
I, I do. The Pirates putting the pressure on the Coyotes, causing them to take a timeout to stop their momentum. I've scored 7 5. Coyotes on top of the Lady Pirates, Richard. CBC sees on a 4 0 run. Leading scorer is Boykin. For Coastal Alabama, Thomas has got four. Murph has got three. They swing it around. Quick move. Oh, we should have stole that one. It was right there. It was what, right there. One thing I noticed, Robert, about Coastal Alabama, they do have balanced scoring. Murph, they, Slaughter, Thomas, Watts. They all they average 8.7 points a game. There's really no one score that takes over a game. They're just which, balanced. Which oh. is a balanced team, which is a dangerous team, Richard. That means you can't key in on one player. You have to stick them all. Excellent defense by the Lady Pirates calling a shot clock violation. Yes. Here's Borkin running the point now. Nice screen. Off the marks. Boykin had an open look. Oh, she has to take those. She can make yeah. those. Quickly up the floor, the Coyotes. Rebound, Pirates, let's go. Foul. That's Thomas going to the line. She's one of the dangerous shooters for Coastal North. 7-5, 329 in the first period. We're live on the campus of CVCC, Chattanooga Valley Community College, inside of Key Hall. Excellent contest. Coastal North from Monrovia, Alabama. And, of course, the Lady Pirates are right here in Phoenix City, Alabama. Number one and number three teams going at it. Excellent shooter there, Thomas. She make the first one. Missed the second. Here's Borkin quickly up the floor. Pirates only down by three. Here we go. Pirates working around. Oh. Just a bad pass. It's going to go back mm, the, to Coastal. Well, the, the play was set. Um, she was trying to set the pick. It, it was just a miscommunication, but a good job by Coastal Alabama just establishing their zone defense, give up the turnover. We bring in Alexandra, Queen Alexandra McCoy. Alexandra McCoy, our, one of our three-point shooters, number one for the Pirates. One, two, three. That's turnover. Excellent defense by the Lady Pirates. One thing about it, the Pirates gonna give you their best, Richard, on that defense. We get the offense cooking, we're ready. Well, I think Coach Richardson just has them playing hard, you know, working on the fundamentals. Nice job splitting the defense, just couldn't finish. Quickly up the floor. Hustle by the Pirates. Coastal retains. Pass gets good. 10-5, Coyotes over the Lady Pirates. Coach Richardson calls out the play. The Lady Pirates working around. Here's our shooter. There's Davis. Off the mark again. The Pirates are just cold, ice cold. Quick move by the Lady County. Off the mark. Same team. 
That was a good shot by Talia Timer. Murph. Oh, excellent shot. She she averages 8.5 points a game. She did have the first three of the game. It's a timeout on the floor, Richard. Georgia Alabama Sports Live right here on the campus of CVCC. The Pirates couldn't get the rebound. Goes back to Coastal North. Oh, they're going to call that on the floor. Before the shot. Yeah, McCoy with the foul. That's going to be before the shot. It Great is the fourth game. team foul for CVCC. Yeah, they got, they got to slow the fouls down. Quickly up the floor of the Pirates. Finally a foul for us. <laughs> Finally. Well, I, I think that Haley Sanders needs to get going. She's been scoreless so far in this first quarter. Uh, she She's is a, really the the motor that really keeps this offense going. Well, I, I think they got some type of game plan. They're trying to save her energy. So we got to work with them. Turnover by the Pirates. Nice. Rebound, Pirates. Good job by Davis just yanking down that rebound. A power rebound. Here's Haley now. It's time to go to work, Pirates. 10-5. Shot again. Oh, she should have taken that three. Oh, Haley with the rebound. Basket's good. 10-7. Sanders with a putback. Coastal trying to work it down low to the wing. Got to be careful. She can penetrate. Long shot off the mark. Rebound, Borkins. Have the numbers. Here we go. Shot. Quick fake. Foul. Foul's going to be on Trinity Crane for Coastal Alabama. So looking at Taisha Slaughter, who's leading the entire Alabama Community College Conference in rebounds. Just incredible numbers. 9.5 rebounds a game. Barkings nice job. on the board. Yep, getting her own rebound. Excellent job. Putting it up. She's got six points. 10-9. Pirates have battled back as we come to the close of the first period. On an 8-3 run. Excellent job by the Lady Pirates. They're packing that zone and making it tough for the Coyotes. Rebound Pirates. We can get it off. Basket's no good. 10-9, first period. Coastal North in the lead over the Lady Pirates. Richard. We want to thank our sponsors just for making this broadcast possible. Superior Roofing, Rocket Stone LLC, Mike and Ed's Barbecue, Happy Hour Bar and Grill, State Farm, Carol Purdue, Terry Johnson Agency, Masterwall Incorporated, Behringer Construction, St. Ann Pacelli, p and Broadcasting, Sports Visions, and Double Coverage. We'll be back with the start of the second quarter here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live.
as we begin the second period. 10-9. Pirates were down, but we're only down by one now. And now the sound I love to hear Richard D up. That's when the Pirates are playing their best. When you hear him saying D hey, up. That's you can it. You see Coach Richardson. He's, he's animated. He's, he's very animated. He's up. He's telling them where to move. A rebound. I am so impressed with their on an 8-3 run. Outstanding really. job. We need to continue with that good offense. Here we go. Here's Haley setting it up. Nice move. Basket's oh, good. What a she's, basket. She's getting started. She's just heating up, Richard. Yeah. She's just heating up. She's heating up. 11-10. Lady Pirates on top of the Lady Coyotes. Good turnover. Turnover. All right, all the way, Miss Davis. Go get it, Davis. Love the fast break. Love wow. how the CVCC just gets open in transition. They're a good open court. They can do it. Shooting to Miss Davis. I think we realize how big this game is in the division. Oh, it's Especially huge. Especially with Coastal Alabama, 5-1 and one, tied with Sneed State. Right behind them in third place is CVCC. This is a big game. This is a big game. We want it. Down by one. Need some precious free throws here. Off the mark. Now you usually make these, but the pressure of the game. See, she's selling in. Well, she's able to make one, a two. Okay, we're up 12-10, our way. I said we were down one, we were up one. Oh, they're going down low. Excellent, excellent rebound by the Lady Pirates. Look at Barkins going to break. I mean, going to work. Oh, look at Haley Sanders. Sanders. Barkins and Sanders doing it. 14-10. Right place, right time. Playmaker and MVP doing it. The Coyotes working around. Basket's good. Number one. Yeah, Tyla Murph, she's got five points. She's dangerous. Dangerous shooter for Coastal Alabama. The, the Coyotes, found out their nickname was the Coyotes. Oh yeah. I don't know if they call themselves the Lady Coyotes, but. Uh, oh, we're gonna call them that. They are the nickname, that is the <laughs> nickname. Yeah. There can. are two campuses of Coastal Alabama. There's one down in Manette Bay, and there's one in Monroeville. Very exciting organization. Just, they have two campuses. Well, uh, usually at the junior college level, you always have satellite campuses. True. Places. Like Very Phoenix true. City has a Troy University here. Yes. Uh, or it didn't. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting the north-south on that one. <laughs> Maybe used to. You're correct. Okay. 14-12 <laughs> score. Borkin goes to the line. Pirates playing tough with the top team on top by two. If you just tuned in, it's been very exciting so far. It really has. One thing, I reason why I know so much about the junior college level is because I went to a satellite campus uh, my two years of college. Excellent. It was, uh, it was very small, very remote, but, you know, still had your core classes. No doubt about it. Excellent place to go. Yeah. Sometimes uh, that's uh, better for some students to have more uh, hands-on not in a large school, they have, they, you know, the teacher can kind of talk to them a little bit and gives you more time to deal with your subjects. Oh, absolutely. Good job by Boykin. She's got seven points, leading the Lady Pirates. Three-point lead. Here we go. Two great teams, two great teams. Long three. Off the mark. Coastal goes up again. Excellent tip out by Sanders. That's number 24. Yeah, for, that is a she's a Tashana Key. She's she's a, a a a power forward with some height on her too. 
Thomas take a break. She's one of the outstanding shooters for Coastal North. Shot clock winding down. Oh, oh they're going to call a foul. foul. That is close. It, it was very close to being a jump ball, but they that was a very fortunate call for Coastal Alabama because the shot clock was winding down. Oh, it was they over. get a fresh 20. It was over with. And they could try it again. Here we go. Here we go. Pirates are playing some tough D. Stolen by the Pirates. Stolen oh. from behind. Raven Hall picks her pocket. <laughs> Teammates got to let her know what's going on. They got to communicate. Let her know she had some pressure coming from behind. Pirates ball. Coastal Alabama wearing their maroon uniform with the black lettering and the gold trim. Of course, the CVCC Lady Pirates in their traditional gray and blue uniforms. Stolen oh, by the there Pirates. You go. Borkins. Here's a fast break. All the way. Oh, good block. Tishana Key coming up with the block. Clean block, too. 15-12. 6.40 in the second period, what a game. Two of the best in the ACCC. McCoy passing it back to Borkins. She's gonna go to work. Looking for the screen. Off the mark. Pirates, excellent possession, just didn't convert. Pass in the middle, off the mark. Oh, it looked like she got poked in the eye. That was Johnson. Let's hope she's okay. Yes, she's one of our keys. Timeout on the floor. Exciting contest, Coastal North and CVCC, Georgia, Alabama Sports Live. Georgia Alabama Sports Live on the campus of CVCC. Inside of Key Hall, Kaylee Borkins had to be took out of the contest after being poked in the eye. One of our key players. We've got to suck it up and make it happen until our eyes clear up. Our score, 15 to 12, in favor of the Lady Pirates over the Lady Cowboys from Monrovia, Alabama. Of course, CVCC located in Phoenix City, Alabama. Here's Borkins, I mean, here's Haley Sanders going to work. Back to Haley, our playmaker. Quick move. Shot. Got to get it off. Two seconds. Got to put it up. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Robert! Yeah, baby! The bank closed an hour ago. Woo! The bank is open again. Oh, man. 18-12. Incredible shot by Haley Sanders. Shot clock at one. Turnover. The Cowdies trying to get it down low. Excellent defense from the Lady Pirates. Up by six over the number one team in the ACCC. This is an awesome contest. These Lady Pirates give you 100%. Oh, yeah. Leading scorer is Haley Sanders with nine points. Kaylee Boinkins has got seven. All right. Here we go. 
All right, Haley, go to work. Quick move, shot. Got to shoot it, it's four seconds. Foul. I, I tell you, Robert, Coastal Alabama is doing a great job making CVCC work in that shot clock. They work them hard. It was going under five again, but thank goodness the foul bailed us out that time. Robert, they work as hard as when I was a kid playing <laughs> NBA 2K. I would, like, <laughs> stay on my man on defense and make, that, make them work that shot clock all the way to the end. Turnover by the Lady Pirates. Forced by that pressure D. You just talked about it, Richard. But if you if you have man defense and you are up in the face of the player, it's going to be hard to give up a shot. And then they, you just make them work that shot clock. Long three. Off the mark. Rebound, Lady Pirates. Elijah Alexander, good job on that rebound. She's a little... A little, but she is going to the lands of the Giants. Here's Haley, off the mark. Murphy quickly up the floor. Turnover. Oh, she they got, got it. Back. Oh, wide open for three. Off the mark. Good rebound, rebound. by Davis. Slow it down, Pirates. Here we go. Every point counts in a contest like yes. this. Janiah Davis, she's leading the team with 9.4 rebounds, followed by Haley Sanders with 9.1. They really can crash the boards. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty she good rebound average. Pick. Here we go. Nice save. There you go, McCoy. Quickly up the floor. The Coyotes. Oh. Beautiful pass. Wow. Look at McCoy getting back on defense. No call. Oh. oh, got a collision. That's a flagrant, I would think. Let's hope Haley Sanders 12. is okay. I pray she's okay. 329 <sighs> hour time. This is a rough game. This is a tough one. They let them play. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed when they started this game, that the refs did swallow the whistle. Uh, they really just want to let them play, like you mentioned. Oh, yeah. You, you have to adjust to how it's being called, and that's how you have to play. If some fish, official calls the games tight, some call it loose. As long as they call it the same on both teams. Yeah, you got to be consistent. That's it. For it's both teams. Consistency is the key. All right, here we go. Here's Haley. No good. 18-12. Great crowd, Richard. Great crowd. It, it really is. I mean, they've come out and supported CVCC tonight. Off the mark. She missed both. Here we go. Coastal trying to get it down low. They're trying their best to get it down low. Turnover again. Talia Murph had the right idea. That was just too much for Tishana too much, Key. Too much mustard on that. One. Too much mustard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Too much. Richard, she knows how. To, she just need to take a little bit off of there. Here we He's go. Gonna lob it in just <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Here we go. His bark is running the point now. She's back. Let's go to work, Lady Pirates. Let's go. Five. Oh, they're going to call a moving screen. Moving screen, okay. On CVCC. Okay. Eighteen, twelve hours score. Three minutes remaining in the half. A very tight contest. The number one and number three team going at it in the ACCC. Still. Oh, there you go. Oh, almost a turnover. That pirate defense. Both teams playing some tough deep. Well, Davis with that length, I mean, she's going to deflect any pass that comes into her vicinity. Pirates ball, all right. Almost got the steal. We we got the turnover, though. That's that's what counts. To our shooter. Shot. 
Look at Chrissa Johnson, oh, good shot. They, she's our sharpshooter. She's got to yeah. find a groove. She been she was out a couple of games. She's got to get a groove going. Just keep shooting. Oh. Off the mark. Big rebound by number 24. Going to the line, it's, it's Tishana Key. Miss Key, one of the, I call the big power forwards. They have Coastal North. Number 22, she's on the sideline. That's Thomas, who opened up the game with some excellent shooting. Uh, I guess they rotate them in and out. Yeah, Shanti Thomas is their leading rebounder. Okay. And averages 8.1 points a game. First shot is good, Richard. Second shot is good. Makes them both. 18-14. Pirates need a score here. Coach Richardson calls out the play. Here we go. Here's Naya. Big block. Key was right there defensively. Turnover. And, Coyotes. And the Coyotes could not capitalize on the other end. They got excited. Coyotes is bringing a good crowd. CBC was a great crowd. This is college basketball in the junior college level, the way you love it, Richard. I'm surprised. They, I mean, they made that, this trip all the way from the Mobile area. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, but they, they got, when you got a number one team, you travel. Yeah, the fans travel. Bad pass. Oh, look at this Talia Good. Murph. Murphy with a fall away. 18-16. Seven Pir points. Pirates have not scored in a while, Richard. Yeah, the Coyotes have cut it to two. Maybe three or four more possessions left to go here in the first half. A steal by the Coyotes. One, two. Basket's good. The Coyotes crowd coming alive here. 18, 18, our score, one minute remaining in this half. Here's Sanders, setting it up. She's got to go to work. Hawkins and Sanders. Basket's good, it's a three. Kaylee Borkins, when we needed it most. Huge three. 21-18, what a game. Here's Murph. Cowdy's working around. Pirates should get a, oh, three seconds. Oh, a yep. foul, hold on. Foul, okay, a foul they on them. They call it a foul. We'll take that. We'll take it either way, as long as we get the ball. And that's a 15 foul, one more. And they're going to be in the bonus. Well, we're going to freeze it. We're going for one shot here. 21 seconds and ticking away. That's a smart decision to hold. Oh, yes. Up for by the final. Three. Well, shot clock's turned off, so. Oh, yeah. They're going to hold for the final shot. I'd, I'd give it to either Boykin or Sanders here or Davis. Let Davis shoot it. Off the mark. It was a good look. Great half of basketball. The ladies are playing some excellent defense. 21-18, CVCC, the ladies on top of Coastal North. Georgia Alabama Sports Live with the double R's doing it. Richard and Robert. All right. Sponsors at this time. I appreciate that, Robert. <laughs> We'd like to thank our sponsor, Superior Roofing, Rocket Stone LLC, Mike and Ed's Barbecue, Happy Hour Bar and Grill, State Farm, Carol Purdue, Terry Johnson Agency, Masterwall Incorporated, Barrier Construction, St. Ampicelli, p and Broadcasting, Sports Visions, and Double Coverage. The sponsors of Georgia Alabama, Alabama Sports Live.
Georgia Alabama Sports Live as we recap Richard an outstanding first half. Truly was Robert. Boinkin led the way with 10 points for CVCC. Haley Sanders had nine for Coastal Alabama. Talia Murph was a leading scorer with seven. Some inside information, Haley Sanders and Murph uh, played against each other in high school. That's a very so nice this connection. So this is another battle going on right now. Here we go as we kick off the third period here. Sanders going to work early. Off the mark. What a power rebound by Thomas. Cowley's quickly up the floor. Basket's good. Good move by Slaughter. 21-20, Cowley's coming out of the break. Ready to play. They're fired up. Coach Richardson calls the play. Here we go. Haley Sanders once again. Borkin's got to shoot that. Here we go. Our sharpshooter. Off the mark. Jump ball. Going to Coastal North. Thomas coming out playing tough and rough. Trying to control the boards. Down by one, the Lady Cowdies. That pirate press causing a few problems. Cross court pass. Here we go. Long pass. Saved by the counties, but uh, picked up by Borkins. Quickly up the floor now. Pirates have a break. Here we go. Nice beautiful pass. pass. Borkins make that happen. Looking up the floor. Excellent job. 23 20. Pirates on top of the counties. Here's Murph again, the playmaker. Oh, what a dish. Beautiful pass. Thomas going to the line, shooting two for the Lady Counties. Yeah, Shanti Thomas down by three, trying to cut this lead to one. And don't As go anywhere. Right after this, the men will crank up. I would take a step back and thrift will come on the scene to anchor for the boys along with Richard. Shot's good. She makes them both. 23-22. Pirates play at a slow pace because they don't have a, a lot of depth on the bench. So they, they kind of slow it down. Borkin's going to work. Turnover. Well, Coastal Alabama's got a chance to take, take the, the lead. lead. Yep. Unforced error there. Stolen by the Pirates. Oh, my gosh. Too much mustard and ketchup on that one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Some upcoming games, uh, they're going to be on the road, taking on Denmark Technical College on the 9th of February. Monday, February 12th at Sneed State. Back here at CVC, Thursday, February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day, for Calhoun Community College. That's going to be on and popping right there. Great pass again. Basket good, Nia Davis cranking up. There you go. 25-22, Lady Pirates on top of the Lady Cowdies. Davis has got six points, four in the second half. Key points. Cowdy swinging around, a long three. Basket's good. Number 10. What a shot. Yeah, good shot by Tiana Watts. Watts tying the score up. It's 25 all. Averages seven points a game. Pretty Here's good Haley. shooter. Shot. Off the mark. Haley with the rebound. What a rebound. Oh, but she got it swiped out of her hands. Cut the ball off Pirates. That's Murph with the pass. Dish inside. Beautiful pass. 
Shanti Thomas with the big bucket. Number five with the pass. Who was that, Richard? The assist made the play. Walking, got to go to work. Shot. There you go. Oh. Off the mark again. She's wide open. I mean, she had an opportunity. We got to get her going. 27-25, Lady Cowdery is on top of the Pirates. We've had opportunities after opportunities. Good steal by Boykin. Excellent defense by the Lady Pirates. Here's Haley. Shot. Off the mark again. Here's Boykin. But, you know, she's had wide open shots. You just got to keep shooting. Off the again. We just can't make one. 27-25. Oh. Basket's good. That almost got blocked. Talia 29. Murph with nine points. Murph cranking it up, 29, 25. Lady Pirates down by four. We need a basket. Here's Parkins. Here's the pick. Here's Naya. All right, we ought to get two out of this. Oh, oh. my goodness. You got to make those. Yeah. We're missing easy ones. 29, 25. The Coyotes trying to get it down low. We see that game plan. They're trying to get it down there. Jump ball. All right. Possession error going to go to CVCC. But first, there's a timeout on the floor. It's Georgia Alabama Sports Live, CBCC, take it on the Lady Coyotes. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Superior Roofing, Toff Certified Roofers in three locations, Auburn, Phoenix City, and Columbus, Rocket Stone LLC for masonry, stoneware, and to refurbish your fireplace, contact Greg Ballard. Mike and Ed's Barbecue, Chase Call is the general manager there. Uh, Mike and Ed's Barbecue, Chase Cook. Matt Call is the uh, general manager for Happy Hour Bar and Grill. State Farm, Carol Purdue, Terry Johnson Agency, Masterwall Incorporated, Behringer Construction, St. Ampicelli, PNB Broadcasting, Sports Visions with Thrift Behringer and DJ Jones. You know, I was listening to him on the way to this game. And then double coverage, Jerome Bryant. You know, they were at the middle school game between Richardson and Aaron Cohn. Oh, man, we were just having fun here at CVCC. 434 left to go. Georgia Alabama Sports Live, 434 in the third period. We started the third period on top, but we're down now. The momentum has shifted to the Lady Coyotes. Coastal Alabama's done a great job coming back in this game. You talk about making adjustments at the half. Coming out, and what game plan do you have to try to get offense going? Porkins. Excellent play out of the timeout by they needed a basket. Wilson. Yes. 29-27. That's the sound I love to hear. D up. Still. Oh, it just right, went right in the hands of the Coyotes. Got to stay with them. Got to box out. Oh, Five. Wow. 29-27, what a great game from number one and number three. Coastal North, CVCC, this is the way you like it, Richard. Tight contest, two of the best. Well, I mean, these two teams are two of the top teams in the Alabama Coastal Conference. And as uh, Taisha Slaughter makes the first, 
We, we expected that this game was going to go down to the wire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what we expected. We're getting everything we paid for tonight. It is an awesome game. That's a lane violation on Coastal Alabama. No, that's a foul. It's a foul? Uh-huh. A push off after the he foul just, shot was being made. He just gave him the ball. All right. Yeah. 30 27. No need to rush a shot here. Or you could Five. draw the foul. Oh, yeah. When the game's on the line, you just give the ball into your best player's hands and let Haley Sanders go to work. She draws the foul. But that's, what, that's, what I, that's what I would do. Oh, yeah. That's what I would do. But Coach Richardson is, is, is uh, drawing up that play. Leading scores for the CVCC Lady Pirates, Boykin with 12, Sanders has got nine, Davis with six. Good, good balance scoring from those three. We need somebody else to get started and we'll win this contest. Our shooter just can't catch fire. Miss Johnson, she usually catches fire for, oh my goodness. And oh, come on. You got to look at Coastal Alabama. They got a very deep bench, and CVCC has only got two players on the bench. Oh, yeah. That, but that's, that's all gonna... season long. The Pirates are ready. They're going to they gonna make it work with what, with what they got going. That's what I love about the Pirates. They they don't oh, ask absolutely. for any, any excuses. We're going to no win. No excuses. You're right. 30 28, down by two. Look at that press. Look at that press. Look at that press. Turnover. Oh, almost. What a shot. Tiana Watts. Basket's good. With the putback. Count the basket. 32-28. A potential and one. Here we go. Every shot counts in a contest like this. Shot's good. Coastal trying to pull away here. Just CVCC has got to get a basket. We can't get behind by two far. Here's Borkins. Nice move. You're a step. Basket's there good. There you go. That pressure. Let's go to that full court press. That pressure. That pressure. Kaylee Boinkins. She's got 14 points. 33 30 hour score. Lady Cowboys, Lady Pirates, cross court pass. Good decision not to foul on that one. Good shot by Ashanti Sl or Slaughter. Slaughter had the inside position. Taisha Slaughter. Here's Sanders. Down low to Barkins. Power move. In and out. Barkins gets her own Good rebound. Job her own Back rebound. Up. Off the mark. There she is. Second chance Re points. To Sanders. Oh. High. Johnson's pass a little too much. A little too much mustard. First Haley okay. Sanders. Gotta, gotta relax. Good passes. Good passes. Good idea. Trying to get it to your shooter. Playing together. But take your time. Relax, Lady Pirates. Down by five. Ticking away under two minutes in the third period. What a game, what a game. Here's Murph. She works it around. Traveling. Traveling. Turnover, yes. We'll take that. Well, CVCC had to get a big stop and try to cut into this lead. That pressure D caused that traveling. Now we need to score right here. Down by five, we've got to cut that lead. Here's Borkins again. Got her. Slipped. Oh. Good job by the Lady Pirates getting back on defense. Oh, what a shot by Murph with a hand in the face. Big Murph, number one. She's dangerous. 37 30. Yeah. 
She's got 11 points. Thirty-seven, thirty, one hundred five remaining in the third period. Sanders and Borkins, the two captains. Shot, make one. King, buy a three. Thirty-seven, thirty. We need a steal. We can't get down by too many. Not playing the number one team. Well, I'm surprised Coastal Alabama is not trying to go for the two for one. They're just they, using they just the want shot a, They clock. just want a good shot. They, they want, want a good shot, yeah. They Normally they rush the shot. Oh, what a pass. Wow. They lowered under the sleep. It was a trick, Richard. They got it. If they would have got the shot off quicker, they might have had a final possession of the third quarter. They still might. It just depends on if the Pirates shoot uh, with a little time. Look at that. That's the turnover. And they get it. Yeah, that's an over and back on Coastal Alabama. 15 seconds remaining, down by nine. Yeah, this is this is danger time. Coastal uh, CVCC they can has put got it, to cut it, in, they, get yeah. cut in this lead. They can put it away because they play tough D. Coastal plays some tough defense. Six seconds, got to get a shot off. There you go. Oh, that it's good. is how you do it. Haley Sanders with a power shot. 39-33, Georgia Alabama Sports Live at CVCC. What a game, what a game, what a game. We're live on the campus of CVCC. The final period, Richard, 39-33. Pirates down by six with a big basket. We should have the momentum, excuse me, the momentum after that big three by Haley Sanders. Coastal kicks it off and with possession of the fourth period. Here we go. That should have been stole. Here we go. Good steal by Johnson. We've got to work on her passing. We've trying got to. to she, no, we needed that break. We've got to make those count. She was trying to squeeze it in a tight window, but it had the right Two. idea. Idea was excellent. How huge would this be if CVCC got a basket here, only down by four? Oh, we're going to get one. I can feel it. 39, 33, 941. They were down by nine. Coastal Alabama looked like they could have put this game away. The Pirates are crawling their way back into it. Here we go. Here's Haley. Shot. Good pass. Oh, oh my, my, my. We had an open shot. It was an open shot. It was a good look. Just didn't fall. Just could not get it in the bucket. Oh, that was just slipped out of her hands. That's all right. That, that pressure. Lady Pirates catch a break. 39 33 still. We're holding right there for just a minute. Pirates slow it down. Need a good shot. Pirates working it around. Here's Haley. Short. I saw it when it left the hand. 
39, uh, 30. She, yeah, she did tip it. I saw the, uh, the ball actually hit the defender. Tipped out by Slaughter. Costo. Slaughter tipped it. That's why I was sure. It had a really weird roll to it. And it looked like it was still in bounds. She was hesitant on whether or not to grab it. Shot. Two. Shot clock violation. Turnover. They're keeping us in the game with yeah, the turnovers. Yeah, they are because they rushed that. They had a fast break. The pass was a little too much. And once again, CVCC has an opportunity to cut into this lead, down by six. We, we've got to make it count. There we go. Look at her driving that baseline. But you know what? She draws the foul. Good Excellent. job by Haley Sanders. Excellent penetration. Leading scores for CVCC. You got Kaylee Boykins with 14. And then Haley Sanders with 13. Boykins coming back along with Thomas for Costo. North. Naya takes a break. Sanders hit the biggest shot to end the third quarter. They were down by nine. She we hadn't scored three. since, Richard, so we need these. But they have, they've done a good job defensively on Coastal Alabama. Money. Huge, huge three throw. Here's the second shot. It's good. Here come that pressure D. Maybe a full court press to try to force a turnover. Oh, yeah. We'll take it. Oh, I would have slowed down on that shot. It, I know you. the momentum's carrying you all the way to the basket, but there was nobody there to box out. 39-35. Pirates in there. And this forces you to get oh. into your defense. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Sanders. She was trying to go for the steal. That's a good foul, though. Oh. It's only the first team foul here in the quarter. She only has two. That's good. Here we go. Coastal North inbounds. Should have stole that one. Good pass. Oh, what a shot. Thomas. That's hard to stop. With a potential three. Ashanti Thomas is just the ultimate post player for the Coyotes. But the key is to know that number five is going to pass. She's not going to shoot. you got to read her. She's setting the other players up. 41-35. Coyotes with a, with a lead, and it's, it's getting tougher. That's, That's a big a, bucket by Thomas. Yes. Look at that save what a by save. the Coyotes. You don't think this is a big game. Both teams want it. Coastal Alabama wants to stay on top in first place. They are tied with Sneed State. CVCC is right behind them in third place. They want to. This is a big game, Richard. They want to try to cut into that lead, be a game and a half back. Cross court pass. Oh, and the foot was on the line. Foot was on the line. We needed that turnover. Robert, I got to say, I'm impressed with this crowd. Oh, yeah. It's packed, baby. Yes. People come out to support the Lady Pirates. Expect the crowd to be the same for the for the men's game. Here's Naya. Which, by the way, that is coming up next here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. In case you're wondering. Sanders. Oh, what a rebound, but I think, uh, yeah, going back to Coastal Alabama. Pirates can't find the basket right now. We go cold like this, but we got to play tough D and start scoring. 
We don't want this one to slip away. We're right here. Well, they've only scored two points in the fourth quarter. That's what I'm saying. 41-35. Trying to get it down low. Traveling, yes. Oh, that huge break. That's a four-point swing. That could have iced it right there. Yeah, I think with 626 left to go, that would have that would have been all she wrote. That would have been a dagger. Pirates got to go to work now. Let's get the offense. Let's get some rhythm going. Shot, Borkins. Nice move to the right. Let's go. 41-37. Back on D now. What a game. Coastal North, CBCC. The ladies are going at it here. ACC action. Tough D by the Pirates. Off the mark. It was a good look. Excellent. It look. looked like it was going right. in. Oh, yeah. It was straight. It just, just a little short. Just off the front of the iron. Here's Murph quickly up the floor. Rebound, Pirates knocking each other out. Hey, it's a, it's we'll a, take it. It's a two-possession game. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to watch out for the steal. Murph can this come is, behind you and pick your pocket. What a game. What a game. Everybody's had to take a deep breath. It's on and popping. Here's Borkins going to work. Basket's yeah. good. There you go. And, and one. We needed that. Oh. What a play. It's Borkins being the hero right now. That fired up the crowd, and that fired us up yes. here, Robert. Oh, yes. 41-39. <laughs> One possession game now. This is a big shot, Richard. How about the game that Boykins have at 18 points? Oh, she's, she's grooving. Haley Sanders, her teammate, has got 15. We need the rest of the team to hit a couple of shots, and we'll take this thing. Baskets, go! Nothing but the bottom of the net. Timeout, Coastal North. The Pirates are fired up. It's Georgia Alabama Sports Live at CBCC. Oh, gotta get Welcome back to CVCC, 5.08 left to go. 41 to 40 is your score, Coastal Alabama on top over CVCC. Robert Edmond, the Richard Holdridge. The, the momentum is shifting to the Lady Pirates. Coastal had to call a timeout. The Pirates are fired up. This is the type of game you love, Richard. Uh, you know, and it's really great, you know, being up here calling this game with you. We called a, a Pirates game. It was, I remember, it was a couple of, it was about a couple months ago. Oh, yeah. And it, we had so much fun. Oh, yeah. We're doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Coastal North. What are they going to do, Rich? They, they got to go to work. They're in their zone defense. Oh, a good, good job. Basket, Thomas. Wow. Big basket. All right. We need to match that. Asante Thomas with eight points. She's dangerous. He's walking. She's been on fire. Yeah, they're going to call oh, a foul, foul on Boykin. Just a little too aggressive that time. I tell you, they are hustling. They're trying to go for their own rebound when they go up for the shot. 4.29, I mean, the time, Richard. 
Down only by three. Every possession matters. I think it's going to go down to the wire. I do too. Here we go. Coastal North ranked it across. The sound I love. D up from the Pirates bench. Here's Murph. Cross court pass. Trying to get it down low. Stolen. Oh, back. Stolen. I thought that was stolen. Tip out by Coastal North. Resets the shot Reset clock. Reset it. What a tip. Good job by Murph on the offensive rebound. What a game. Trying to get it down low. Baskets good. Yeah, that was just a fortunate right place, right time for Tiffany Goodman. Nobody's boxing out. She's able to put that up with ease. Oh, and Murph for the big steal. Uh, Sanders went to penetrate, stolen by Murph. Coastal North can really put a dagger in if they score this time, Richard. Yeah, they're going to need a stop right here. Down. Stolen. Here's Sanders. All right, this is where you get a basket. You don't really have the numbers. Foul. She right. does draw the foul, but I would have slowed it down just a little bit because you didn't have the numbers. Because every possession matters here. I mean, that could have been an easily, if you rushed anything. But we That's had a, a timeout. Time. There's a timeout on the floor. It's Georgia Alabama Sports Live. Richard and Robert doing it for you at CBCC. Non-stop action right here on the campus of CBCC inside of Key Hall, Richard. Coastal North and the Lady Pirates doing it the way you love. 45-40, Coastal North on top. Haley Sanders at the line shooting two, and we need these free throws. Don't forget the next home game is going to be Thursday, February the 15th against Calhoun Community College. Another great team coming in, too the Pirates home court, Calhoun County. And it's not a conference game, by the way. But still, but, yeah, but still, team. Still, you, you play these talented teams toward the end of the season. It get you really, ready. Get you ready for the playoffs. That's it. That's playoffs. It. That's right. Yeah, I playoffs. said playoffs. <laughs> Another basket. Down by four. Still a two-possession game. Pirates need to stop right here. Here's Coastal North. There Stone. you go. Alexander. Wow, what a steal. Stay with Traveling. it. Oh, she traveled. You know, it really, it was, it was a hesitation because she thought that it was going to be a steal from well, her blind yeah. side. It was a good try. She just traveled. And That's all right. 45, 41, two minutes and 44 seconds. Pirates must have a stop here. Here we go. Turnover. Oh. That's what we needed. Here come the Lady Pirates down by four. A three will be good, but a two will be fine. Buckle up, folks. Here we go. Here's Haley Sanders going to work. Got a mind made up. Baskets. Oh, oh almost, almost went in. what we needed. But that fadeaway jumper draws the foul. Haley Sanders to the line for two. Two big free throws, Richard. One. We'll make it a one possession game. What a game by Haley Sanders with 16 points. Oh, she does it night after night. She's very consistent. Baskets good. 
Try to get it to a one possession game. We already had one possession. A three can tie it. But we'll be down by two. When you also got to get a stop on the other end. Fast. There you cut. go. Defense now needed by the Lady Pirates. D up. That's the sound I want to hear. Here we go. Here's Murph. She's been running the show for the for the Coyotes. <laughs> Trying to get it down low. Cross court pass. Off the mark. Good offensive rebound. Two offensive rebounds on that. And Five. It was a good job. 43. It was a good job by Coastal Alabama to, they battled on that to get board. those offensive rebounds. Oh, yeah. They've been doing it all night long. That's their strong point. To the line is Raven Hall. Baskets good. She makes the first. Only down by three. Misses it. Kaylee Borkin to Sanders. Lady Pirates, Lady Coyotes. Number one and number three team. Here's Sanders going to work. Here's Borkin. Shot. Basket there good. You go. By Queen Alexander McCoy. Time out Pirates. 46-45. Pirates down by one. Georgia Alabama Sports Live. Oh, good. Welcome back to CVCC. Down by one, 138 left to go. Robert Edmond, Richard Holdridge, Georgia Alabama Sports Live. You know the Lady Pirates are down by nine? They cut it to one. And the sound I love to hear, D up. D, D up. up. Here we go to the corner. Oh, almost almost, almost. 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 Pirates need to stop here. Nice pass. Pass is and, good. And you one. Know, Asante Thomas. She's when you been need a big bucket. Down when, low, she's been dangerous all night You need long. a big bucket. Asante Thomas is the ultimate post player to get a bucket, and they have no choice to try to foul her to try to go up for the block. And Asante Thomas really gives Coastal Alabama some breathing room. 48-45, this will be 49. This is a big shot. Rebound, Pirates, a three can tie it. Here we go, Pirates, slow it down. We that need was a, a huge good miss. Shot. Huge miss, yes. This is a great opportunity here. Here's Sanders. She's looking for Good Borkin. screen. Sanders going to work. Shot. Yeah. Foul. That's a good foul. It good is foul. a good foul on good McCoy. Good foul by McCoy. 48 45, 54 seconds remaining in the contest. Coastal on top. Both teams are in the bonus, but this is where you're going to foul anyway. Oh, yes. To put them on the line. You, with 54 seconds left to go, you got to play the foul game. Because we need the ball, and they don't want us to have the ball because time is in their favor. What a contest. Coastal North, Monroeville, Alabama. Taking on the Pirates from Phoenix City. Big shot here. No oh, good. She We're missed. still alive. Here's another pressure shot. Tiffany Goodman. Pirates got to block out. They got to block out. They got to hope for the mix. They got to box out. Down by three. Here we go. 
basket. Huge. Good. It's a two possession game. Sanders got us going to go quickly. Oh, she did not have enough on it. Stole oh, still. Oh. oh, Boykin. She I penetrated and scored. Still a little time left, Richard. It's not over yet. 49, 45, 42 seconds. Kaylee Borkins on the line, shooting two. We need them both. Got to make both. Got to get a stop on the other end. Either a quick foul and hope for the miss on the one and one. We have a choice. But first, she's got to make the free throw. Basket's good. 49, 46. We'll give Boykin 20 points for the night. She's rocking. We need another one just like the other one. Foul on McCoy. Excellent foul. It's going to put Murph at the line. Trying to make this a two possession game. If she makes one, it's going to be tough. If she miss it, we're all the way live. 35 seconds remaining in the contest. 49-46, Coastal North on top of the Lady Pirates. Oh, and she missed it. This is what we need, miss another one. If she makes it, we got to score quickly. Here we go. Here we go. Basket's good. We need a quick shot. We don't need the three. We need a quick one. Here's Sanders. Basket's good. Little Time floater. Pirates is still alive. We're still alive. 50-48. Georgia Alabama Sports Live on the campus of CVCC. What a game, what a game. Georgia Alabama Sports Live on the campus of CVCC inside of Key Hall. Coastal North up by two over the Lady Pirates. Timeout once again. Strategy by both teams. Georgia Alabama Sports Live. The final seconds of the game, we've got 29 remaining on the clock. Coastal with the ball. The Pirates need a stop. Down by two. Outstanding contest, Richard. It really has, and this is really where CVCC needs to get a stop. You, you don't have to foul. Well, the shot clock is turned off, but maybe do the full court press, try to give up a turnover. There it is, right there. That's the turnover but, you needed. Yes, sir. 21 seconds remaining, Pirates down by two with the ball. Haley Sanders, here we go, it's Haley Sanders. Basket's oh, good! 
Nice shot. Get back, Paris. Time out on the floor. Outstanding game. Coastal North and CBC, Georgia, Alabama Sports Live. Point three seconds. Give you a shot. The other option is to try to get a defensive stop and, and force it to overtime. Oh, what she missed it. Wow. Still 50 all. This is going to be huge. Substitution on the floor. Refs are discussing something. Here, it's just going to be a big call, whatever it is. As long as it's for us, I'm OK. Time, 3.3 seconds in the contest, 50 all. The crowd is going wild. Coastal North, number one team, CVCC, the number three team, and the ACC. What a game. Here we go. Here's the call. Bring what the coaches. a game indeed, All right, the coaches, Robert. They're coming to bring the coaches together. Richard, run over there and see what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, the last two CVCC games that I've called, they've gone down to the wire. I think you bring the energy, Richard. Yeah, they we really bring the – we feed off each other's energy, Robert. That's a – Oh, yeah. And right after this, don't go anywhere. The men, we have Thrift in the house. He's ready. He's, He's excited. ready to go. He's, He's in the bullpen. Up. He's ready to go. He wore special shoes today. He's ready to do it. And He's actually on the, in the batter's box. One shot, Warm two shots. Is it one shot or two shots? Hey, Don't oh. matter. Don't matter. Missed another. It did not matter. We still got a shot. Let's go. 3.3. This one's live. Here we go, people. We, we need a, some thunder sticks underneath the basket. Ooh. That's what. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Let's go. What a foul it. Free basketball, Robert. We're going to overtime. Overtime. 50 all right here on the campus of CVC inside of Key Hall, Coastal North at CVCC, Richard. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Love it, baby. <laughs> Five more minutes of nonstop action with two of the best in the ACC. And it all sponsored by? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sponsored by Superior Roofing, Rocket Stone LLC, Mike and Ed's Barbecue, Happy Hour Bar and Grill, State Farm Carol Purdue, Terry Johnson Agency, Master Wall, Barringer Construction, Pacelli, PB Broadcasting, Sports Visions, and Double Coverage. Georgia, We're back. Alabama Sports Live Over in a moment. Time.
Here we go, here we go. We re-jump in the overtime. 50-50, our score, five minutes extra. The Lady Pirates and the Lady Coyotes. And I want to remind you, this is our second overtime game this week on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. All right, that means you've been working hard. Back oh! is good! Oh my goodness, putting it down! A power three. Look at that pressure. Maja Alexander. Oh. Foul. Robert Alexander put down the thunder. Just depends on what side, Joe, on who believes that was a foul. Coastal North said it was a foul. CBCC crowd said no. But the refs, they the one run the show. 53, 50 hour score, 439 the time. A very exciting contest, Richard. This is the best of the best right here on the campus of CVCC. Two Here's Murphy teams. at the line. Here's Murphy at the line. Murph is at the line. She has missed her last three. She's now missed her last cold. four. She's ice cold. And she and she's a great free throw shooter. I look oh, at her she percentage. Is. I, I can't explain this. I can't. It's the pressure from the Pirates in this environment. Oh, she needed My. that one. The Pirates need to score again to keep the pressure on. Here's Haley Sanders. Put the ball in your best player. You got Sanders, you got Boykin. To Boykin. Sanders, shot again. Off the mark. Stay there, stay there. Five. That's a good rebound by Asante Thomas. She's been controlling the boards on both ends. She'll go to the line. She'll shoot two. Yeah, so I guess this point out in overtime, everybody's in the bonus. Every foul. Every foul is a bonus To the line. If we can get our shooter to hit one, our, our number one free throw, I mean, our number one three-point shooter, she's just been off tonight, Miss Johnson. Uh, she was out a couple of games. She's got to get her rhythm back, but she's still shooting. Off the oh, ball. so close. And she's an excellent free throw shooter, too. That that just took a roll and just went to the back of the iron and just popped out. Lady Pirates got a block out here. Got a box out. Oh, basket's good. 53-52, Pirates on top only by one. They need a bucket or to draw the foul. Here's Sanders trying to penetrate. Hawkins calling for it. Shot is no good. Good rebound. Back to Parkins. McCoy is open. She tries another Alexander. one. Alexander. Off the mark. Here's Murph quickly up the floor. She slows it down. Costo sets it up. Trying to get it down low. Coastal Alabama can take the lead. Excellent defense by the Pirates so far. Off the mark. Off the mark again. Oh. Three chances. Oh my goodness. No blocking out. Coastal up by one now. 54 53. Tiana Watts. Big Watts. basket. Watts with three rebounds and three opportunities to score. Here's Borkins. We need a basket and we need it bad. Coyotes up by one. Here's Sanders calling for it. Here's the move. Got her. Shh. Five. There you go. Yes, sir. MVP, Haley Sanders. You need a clutch bucket. You're going to make a move like that. Draw the foul. Go to the line to shoot both of them. Down by one. McCoy takes a break. Battle comes back. We call a mean ball. But, Robert, when you're playing overtime, you have to factor in you're playing a lot of minutes. Oh, yes. And that Coach Richardson has got to be smart with his rotations. You only have two players on the bench. Well, Naya has fouled out, so he only has now one. Now one. Now one player. We need this one to tie. This is a big shot. Got to at least make it to tie it. To put the pressure back on Coastal North. Baskets good, 54 all. Could we have double overtime? Stay there. 
Rebound. Oh, she was right there, right, right place, right Cash time. It's good. Coastal North up by two. It going back and forth, back and forth. Here's Haley Sanders once again. To Borkins, quick move. Here's Haley. Down low to Borkin. Power move, five. Yes, sir. MVP and the Playmaker working together. 56 54, 225 remaining in the contest. Barking at the line, shooting two power shots. We need them both. Richard, we need them both. We do. And Haley Sanders is the leading scorer with 23 points. Kaylee Boykin with 20. These are two big foul shots. Baskets good. 56 55. What a game. What a game indeed, Robert. We need another one, just like the other one. Baskets, good. 56 all, 225. Powers in that press, causing problems for Coastal North. Pull up on them. Coastal North swinging around up top to the playmaker, Murphy. Oh, that was a nice pass. Foul down low on the Pirates. Coastal North is one of the best rebounding teams in the league. 56 all, going to the line number 14, Richard. Oh, there's no question about it. They got the leading rebounder in the entire conference, Taisha Slaughter. Basket's good. As Raven Hall makes it. Miss Hall. Getting that power rebound and converting on the first free throw. It's a one point lead. And rebound Pirates. Only down by one. Under two minutes now. And Here's I, Haley. I noticed, Robert, you do have the logo of the Coyotes in yes. front of you. That's right. Kind of reminds me of Arkansas State. Basket's good. Oh, Sanders. There you go. One point lead. Sanders, baby. 25 points. Oh, that almost got stolen. Stolen by the Pirates. Oh. Let's go. Here we go. We can. Sanders. Borkins off the mark. Oh. Baskets good. Mr. Easy one. Let's go to work. Pirates good. Down by one. 59 58. We missed the chippy. We needed that one. But here we go. Here's Sanders with the pressure on. That's Borkin, 4-3. Borkin followed the shot, basket, what a good. shot! Do it, Pirates, do it! There you go! Up by 160-59. That's why you follow through with your shot, Coach rush Richardson. to try to get the rebound. Cole Richardson said no fouling. Make do not foul score. here. We're gonna play tough D. Traveling, Big turnover! turnover. Here we go, 40 seconds remaining in the contest. We can ice it with a score. And Robert, they are playing the number one team in the division. Five the and one tied with Sneed State. Here we go. This is a big, big possession here. Here's Sanders. Moving screen call. Turnover Pirates, timeout Coyotes. 59-60, Coyotes on top by one. Georgia, Alabama Sports Live on the campus of CVC inside of Key Hall. Give us a break.
27 seconds remaining, and what a spectacular contest. The Lady Pirates and the Lady Coyotes giving you your money's worth tonight. We had an extra five minutes in overtime. Who's going to take it? The Coyotes ball, but the Pirates are playing with such great tenacity. We still have a super chance to take this contest. We're up by one. Oh, oh, almost near stolen. stolen. Near steal there. Got him. They got to. Let us stay with him. Need to stop. Rebound, somebody. Rebound, Pirates. Huge rebound. Now they're going to have to foul. Pirates have They got a foul. Seven oh seconds. Goodness. Could we do it? Could we have what we need? Beating the number one team. We're up by one. Seven seconds on the line. One of our top shooters, Kaylee Borkins. If she makes them both, it's over. She's got 24 points. Haley Sanders leading the Lady Pirates with 25. Here Incredible. we go. Incredible what? offensive night for both players. Here we go. Basket's good. Money. Money in the bank. Kaylee Borkins. I call her the playmaker. We need this one to seal it. They'll need a three to tie. Money! Timeout Pirates. We can foul them and win the game. I would Make foul. I would foul. I wouldn't give them a chance for that three. But Georgia Alabama Sports Live doing it for you on the campus of CVCC. Seven seconds remaining in the contest. Pirates on top, 62-59. Yeah, Robert, we were talking about how they should foul here because you don't want to give up a three. No call. No, they didn't. They didn't call it. Ball game, Pirates, 59-62. Pirates win. What a win. What a win. Richard, go talk to that coach. I'm oh, yeah. sure he's you fired up. Do it. What a game. Georgia Alabama Sports Live. Coming up next, the boys. Test, one, two. All right. All 
All right, everybody, welcome back to CBCC. Great win, Coach. I'm here with the head coach of the Lady Pirates, Coach Joe Richardson. You in the division in overtime. Really, what were the adjustments? You were down by as many as nine. I thought the big play that was the turning point in the game was Haley Sanders getting that three at the end of the third. And what did you tell your team going into that fourth quarter? They were only down by six. Coach, the the leaders on on the floor that really just stirred the offense was Sanders and Boink, and they really got the offense going. But I I thought that you your bench players played a crucial role, especially only playing with seven players. You had a player foul out, and so the the bench was a factor. But you were able to pull through because when you go into overtime game, there's a lot of minutes played, but you're able to get the win. And what does that mean to come up? And get a win against the best team in the division, record-wise. Coach, you have a couple more home games coming up left, then you get ready for the playoffs. Uh, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to as you wrap up the regular season? Just continue to get better as a team. Uh, you know, we see so many, like I told them uh, at the break, I want to see more high fives, I want to see more handshakes, I want to see more good passes. You know, just be a good teammate. That's all we care about, being a good teammate and just playing your butt off. And whatever happens, happens after that. I know we game plan every game. So if we can stick to the game plan and these, these girls can enjoy playing with each other, that's all that matters. That's what it's about. Coach, good luck rest of the way. All right, that is the head basketball coach of the CVCC Lady Pirates, Coach Joe Richardson. We're going to have a break here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. Coming up, we got the Pirates and we got the Coyotes of Coastal Alabama here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. And Thrift Barringer is going to be joining the broadcast. You don't want to go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Good evening, everybody. Thrift Behringer here as Robert Evans, Richard Aldridge. What a phenomenal job by both of y'all and what was a fantastic game. Make that number two this week, Richard. That is two fantastic games we've been able to call. Russell County Central boys and then the CVCC girls who upset the number one team in the division, Coastal North. And now, that's four in a row, Richard. Coach Richardson's team, they're on the upper trend. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the, big the CBC Titans welcome to Key Hall for a action matchup between the Coastal Alabama Coyotes. We're going to get the starters and then we'll be right back for some excellent play here. Coach Birds, CVCC Pirates, who are tying for second place with LB Wallace, taking on the number one team, Sneed State, who is 8 and 1 on the season. Excuse me, no, C State is number one. They are taking on Coastal North, who is actually in last place at two and seven. But as I talked with Robert off air, Richard, anything can happen in this league. And if they take Coastal North lightly, they could lose a game. And they need this to continue their trend, staying in one of the top three seeds heading into the playoff. tip off all right and now we're about to be underway Richard in thrift we got a blast we got toy Gar Isla in the building our producer extraordinaire and let's have some good college basketball here on a Thursday night first day of February black history month Yeah, February is always a good sports month. You got the Super Bowl, Pitchers and Catchers Report, NBA All-Star Game. Three-pointer on the way, no good. And ball goes, oh, they're going to say, uh, I don't know if they, what they call a foul there, Richard, or what happened? I'm not sure if that is, they're not calling a foul. I think it just got tipped out of bounds. CBC led by Coach Bird. Remember, they were the number one team. They did. And they've lost two straight. They need to get back on the winning track. They were 6-2 and two in the league, a game behind Sneed. Since then, they have dropped two, including to L.B. Wallace. They need to get a big one here. Three-pointer on the way. It's nothing but the bottom of the net from Tim James, Jr. And that gives CVCC the early 3 to nothing lead. It's a good shot by Tim James, Jr., it's always a good sign when you get on top on first and then try to get a defensive stop. Yeah, the Coyotes are only two and seven in, in the division. Yeah, they still have a chance to. They're having a down year, but yeah. you know, they, anybody can beat anybody in this division. Yeah, no doubt about it, Richard. And, uh, uh, it, it's highly competitive basketball every single night. And I've been impressed. I've really been impressed with the fans that made the trip up from the Mobile area. Of course, Coastal Alabama is in Monroeville. 
The main campus is in Minette Bay. There's two campuses, Coast Alabama North. Oh, Amari. And shot Give is good. What a shot from Hamilton to make it 6 nothing already. Remember, in the, in the men's game, they play two halves. Cool. We had quarters in the, in, the in, girls, the, in the girls game. And that happens at every level of, of college basketball, whether it be Division I or junior college. Girls play four quarters, boys play halves. Speaking of which, Caitlin Clark, second team all time in scoring. She's about to catch Kelsey Plum. He was a phenomenal player in her own right, especially Absolutely. A in the champion. WNBA. Two-time WNBA champion. I think Caitlin Clark is going to be amazing in the WNBA. I think so, too. Marsh, who's one of the best point guards we have around here, loses it. He's not known for making many turnovers, but has one there. What a spin nice move, move and layup by number three, Mikey McIntosh, who is putting up 16.8 points a game. They got some scores on this Coastal Alabama team, including Rontavious Blackshear and the leading scorer who just scored there, Mikey McIntosh. All right, and McIntosh gets the rebound, and here comes. And a nice pass ahead from the point guard, Abdul Beya. Beya calling out the offense. Coming off the screen is Joshua Whitehurst. Finds Michael Willis back to Whitehurst. McIntosh sets the screen. Good spin move. What a block oh, from oh, Elijah Marsh. Colonel Marsh with the block. And then all the way, coast to coast, misses the layup. And here comes Coastal Alabama on the other end. Whitehurst blocked again, but they're going to call a foul. Hard fall for number five, Michael Willis. And we hope he's okay, Richard. Yeah, he looks to be okay. And CVCC, again, short bench. A lot of players, because of ineligibility, Richard, were not able to dress out after the second start of the second half of the season. Big losses for him, including a couple of guys that were one of the leading scorers behind Hamilton. And now they only have seven people. So if they get in foul trouble, and you look on the flip side, Coastal North Alabama, I mean, Richard, let me count. That's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 players dressed out today. Big difference. So watch the foul count. See if that becomes a difference. Right now it's one to one. And Marsh is coming back to set up the offense for CBCC. One of the key guys they're missing is Devin Graham, who was just a phenomenal two-way player for CV and Coach Bird. Three-pointer up. Short from Amari Wiltshire, but good rebound from Marsh. Step back, two-pointer no, and the boss man's going to get a push off. London Williams, that's going to be his first, and it's going to go back to Coles, Alabama. Yeah, it's a big night in basketball thrift because we do have the all-star reserves going to be announced, at, at, I think, at halftime of the Lakers-Celtics game on TNT. Yep, and they're going to get an offensive foul and a push off on number four for Coastal Alabama, Che Evans. Coming in now is the rebounding machine and Mr. Athletic himself, Micah Hoover for CV. He gives Wiltshire a break. Boss man already. Trying to back down McIntosh, throws it to Hoover. Hoover to Marsh. Good basketball movement from CV. CV back. Tim James Jr., three pointer, no. Rebound, boss man. Goes up again and almost gets an and one. The strength of London Williams proven strong there. Also coming into the game and getting a foul right there is Ethan Anderson of Coastal Alabama. So already early subs for both teams. 
First shot is good for London. Williams makes it an 8-3 lead for CVCC. We've seen them take early leads, Richard, this whole season, maintaining them and keeping them until right. the finish. And that's a different story. Yeah, you just got to finish games. I mean, they could get off to a hot start because they just have offensive players. And look at the block from Hoover. Gets him off the ground. Ethan Anderson's going to go up and make a shot off the glass, and it's going to make it 8-5 now. Marsh finds Williams. He almost stepped into a deep three-pointer, but decides to pass it. What an in-and-out move from Marsh. Tough lay. That's a grown man move from one, Elijah Marsh. Excellent job by him. Getting the offensive going for Elijah Marsh, also on the defensive side as well. He's a good two-way player. A valuable asset to the CVC Pirates team. Baseline and a block from Hamilton. Excellent defense. Ball. Right now, Rich, your play from CVCC. Yeah, all ball by Micah Hoover. Just being patient, anticipating the shot, and just coming down with the big block. Goes off of the Coyotes, and now CVCC with the ball. Hamilton, he's going to shoot a three. Long rebound. Here comes Coastal Alabama. Nice pass ahead that was tipped. And here comes CVCC. Numbers for Tim James Jr. No. And we're going to get a blocking foul. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on our YouTube, make sure to like on our Facebook page and subscribe. And Richard, that's one thing we keep talking about. CV cannot have players get in foul trouble. It could really cost them down the stretch, especially with a team that's only dressing out seven people. Well, they only have two team fouls right now, but just watching the fouls here in the first half, yeah, you, you don't want to give up a foul, especially in a situation where it's not necessary, especially since you only have two other players on the bench. James Jr. hits that one, makes it 12 to 5. 14 minutes and counting. Good defense from the boss man, but wide open underneath the basket. Excellent pass from Parker Williams. He finds an open Brayshawn Williams to make it 12-7, CV with the lead. Marsh, London, fires, misses. Sky in for the rebound is Tim James Jr. Throws it to Marsh. Marsh is going to find it. Hamilton, Hamilton, and there's going to be a traveling. Nope, they're saying Tim James Jr. stepped out of bounds. And Coach Bird saying, please, shoot that rock. We're going to take a timeout, 12-7. CBCC with the lead on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. Welcome back, everybody. Sit 12 to 7 here. 
And I was just asked from my producer, Toy Guard, what if everyone fouls out? Well, they're going to have to keep playing. And I'm assuming if six of the seven players foul out, they're going to be playing one on five, which I've never seen before. But, you know, crazier things have happened. We hope that doesn't happen with CV, but they're up 12 to 7 here. Already leading scorer is who, Richard? Tim James Jr. He's got five. And again, he's stepped up big. He's one of the guys that they were asked to um, take a big leap in his game when a lot of players were out. What a crossover. And shot no good. Williams gets the rebound. Williams almost loses it, does a spin move. Pass to Hamilton. Hamilton spins. Hamilton, no. Too strong on that. It's good defense by the Coyotes. And another tough lay from Ozel Purifoy, who puts up about 9.3 a game. This Coast Alabama team puts up about 70 points a game. Pretty high for a, C for a junior college. It's got some balanced scoring, yeah. too. The leading scorer is Mikey McIntosh with 16.8 points a game. Now, CB does put 72, but again, Coastal is one of the worst teams in the league, and that shows you how competitive this league is. And Mikey McIntosh gets the seal and lays it up and in off the outlet pass to make it 12-11. One no notable player that's out, Rontavius Blackshear. We have not seen him in the game. No. And rebound, Parker Williams. Williams. That's going to be a deep three-pointer for Whitehurst. No, rebound Tim James Jr. Marsh. Williams, three, no. Gets his own rebound, drives, almost loses it, and does. Whitehurst comes out with it. Whitehurst, alley-oop. That is not put down. You just got to catch and shoot. Just put that off the glass. And good pass underneath. And the big man, Breshawn Williams, who only puts up about 1.1 points a game, that gives him four already. Way above his scoring average, Richard. Yeah, it, and they take the lead for the first time in this game. And that's going to be an offensive foul. He pushed off there. And now Wilter and number two, Andrew McKinde. McKinde comes in. And again, the only two subs that is available for Coach Bird and the Pirates. I'm wondering if we're, we're going to see the second leading scorer, Richard from Coastal, Alabama. He may be out. But there are a lot of bodies over there on the bench. Parker Williams has it ripped right from him. Look at Hoover. He can guard a point guard, center. Doesn't matter, Richard. The guy is just a phenomenal athlete. Omari Hamilton oh. and one. He gets it to go as he hits the deck. What a move. And as I was saying about Hoover, you know who he reminds me of, Richard? Who? In this area, when it comes to high school basketball, we, we cover everybody, man. I mean, we're, we're doing – we've done already close to 50 games. Who – what player would you think of that is a, a great athlete – Probably played multiple sports, and I'm talking about Hoover, but in this area does play multiple sports and is just can jump out the gym, can rebound. First first player that really he reminds me of, like, the, the body size is Tyson McDaniel at Spencer. Yeah, that but, would be one from last year. I was talking about from this year. Maybe think maybe closer to uh, where we're going to be at Baseball Media Day, who's hosting it there, maybe for that school. I'll give you some time to think about it. I'm thinking uh, Mason McCrane. Not McCrane, nope. That's uh, – I was talking more about Bocelli, and I'm, and I'm thinking, oh, look at the steal. And here comes oh, Hoover yeah. for the – no, he oh. spoke the layup, but I'm thinking of AZ Justy. Uh, there you go. He does play athlete. baseball for Bocelli. Yeah, he plays, he plays multiple sports. He's a great football player, good basketball player, a nice layup. And because of the smoke from Hoover, Caleb Renfro gives Colson Alabama the lead. What did I tell you, Richard? Yeah, it's starting to become back and forth here in this first half. Hoover sets a screen. Hamilton to a cut, and James. James has it blocked. 
And then on the fast break, Purifoy has it stolen from Wiltshire. Tim James Jr. drives, makes a bad pass. McKenday gets it out to Tim James. Wiltshire down to Hoover. Hoover gets fouled. And after all that, Richard, we got two free throws coming up. You got to go up strong. Micah Hoover is going to have to earn it at the line. I'm down by one. I'm surprised you didn't know who I was talking about. I thought we would have been on the same wavelength. We call so many games together. But I understand. Well, we you also, call a lot more Pacelli basketball no, well, games. No, it's not just that also, Richard. It's the fact that there's a lot of players in our area. and There's a lot there of teams we, we cover. I mean, I'm talking about AZ Justin. And for people who are watching right now, he's a phenomenal athlete for Pacelli. Parker Williams comes out, starting point guard Abdul Baya comes in. Which, by the way, you will be at Pacelli tomorrow for Heritage. Yep, and we were going to do Hardaway Shaw. That is now not on the table because the Glenwood Gators, boys and girls teams, made it to the region championship as they take on their rival Lee Scott for part three of the boys, part four for the girls. Unbelievable. Richard, you'll be there with Chris Gates. Looking forward to the call being held at Seal, Alabama, all the way. Cecil, Alabama. Cecil, Cecil. yeah. I, I'm looking East. forward to that trip. Trust me, made many trips during my high school career. Some I didn't like so much. Some one of the best experience, including my junior year when I had 20 points in a game. But looking forward to being on that broadcast. Williams, great what defense from, Wil from Hamilton, and Wilshire's got it. Marsh sizing up. Spins out to Hamilton, three-pointer, no, and rebound. Nothing falling right now for CV. We're all knotted up at 15. Three-pointer from Abdul, no, rebound, and hard fall from Hamilton. As he got pushed while in the air, and now they're going to call that foul on Caleb Renfro. We hope his wrist is okay. That's what he's holding right now. He's just trying to walk it off. Well, they can't afford to lose him, Richard. No, absolutely not. Averages 22.2 .2 points a game. And that's the most out of both divisions. Remember, the Division One and the Division right. Two, And in junior college, there's Divisions One, Two, and Three. Alabama only has Divisions One and Two, So, CV could win the Division Two Junior College National Championship. He leads the state of Alabama, Division One and Two, And Division Two around the country, he's top ten. Or at least top 20. Yeah, he is just an incredible athlete. 22.2 .2 points a game. How about Micah Hoover? He puts up another 10. London Williams, 13. Marsh, 9.2. Tim James Jr. is 8.3. But they don't have Jasavion Moore and Devin Graham. They put up about 23 points a game combined for both of them. And that, that hurts, Richard. Losing yeah. 23 points a game from those two guys, it can't have an effect. Um, but it no excuse. And Coach Bird is going to – play with the hand he's dealt and right now I think he's dealt a pretty decent hand to be competitive in the division two on the flip side coast Alabama they need to win a few games if they want to have a chance to win a state championship or make it to the big college tournament it's usually held at Kansas every year Dump down, layup is good. And Coastal Alabama ties it at 17, Mikey McIntosh. With the layup. The leading scorer, Wiltshire, he's gonna shoot a wing three and connect. Big time shot from 11 and White. CB back up three. Good oh, hands from yeah, good hands from Marsh. Abdul drives, good D, but able to find a man open, and he misses a three. McKenday has the ball go right to Tim James Jr. and here comes Marsh on the fast break. He drives and he gets a blocking call. That means he'll go to the line to shoot two. That was a good play to kind of hold off to not force the charge you just let the ball come to you and 
let them draw the foul because he could have easily went right there and tried to pull that shot up. And he gets two shots at the line for Elijah Marsh. Which, by the way, three of you mentioned, it is the first day of February, and that means we are just closer and closer to baseball season. Oh, Marsh makes them both. I'm excited. We have our baseball media days on Sunday, and then uh, we'll start live streaming some baseball games at the same time as basketball. All right. We got uh, CVCC back at a five-point lead. Purefoy with it. We got Whitehurst looking for McIntosh. He's a leading scorer. Purifoy driving, shot up and good. I mean, that's a good move, man, on the curl. Good screen, nice left-handed layup. I mean, I like what I see from this Coastal Alabama team. No, they, they are a really good team, despite their record. I mean, you talk about the margin of error in this division. Yeah. It's razor thin. Tim James, turn around, and what a shot from him. Just back and down the smaller Che Evans defender. And good defense from Wilcher. Evans has got it now. Evans is going to drive unorthodox and then get the foul call. Uh, and Coach, Coach Bird wanted to travel. He did, he did take some extra steps. But it, 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 it was, looked weird. It definitely looked unorthodox, so it may have looked like a trouble. Maybe it wasn't, but either way, I don't think that was anywhere close to a foul. Yeah, I, I didn't see the foul. No. And as Rashid Wallace. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie, Richard. Now you're getting it. <laughs> it only took a few games it to understand. It really did. Ball don't lie. I mean, Thrift, you got to remember, we've been calling basketball games for more than a year now. Does make one of two. Che Evans. So we're going to have region tournaments, state playoffs, middle school championship. I mean, the regular season here is winding down. Yeah. And we'll be there for the playoffs as well, Richard. Looking forward to being able to do that for CV. We're going to have a busy February and March. Nice move and layup. And, I mean, every time CV gets out to about a four, six-point lead, here comes Coastal Alabama. And the layup is good from Purifoy. Wiltshire's going to drive. They're trying to get some. Coach Bird wants something to happen. Dump down. Eight on the shot. Seven. Out the James. Three. No. And here comes Coastal Alabama on the run. And good defense. They're going to stay over the back, though, on Tim James Jr. McIntosh was trying to post him up there, Richard. And he did come over the back with his body. It is the fifth foul. By the way, the first half. for those who don't know, Richard is a huge 49ers fan. And his team was in the Super Bowl. So congratulations to Richard Holdridge. But Thank we you. got a good win here. 24-22, Georgia Alabama Sports Live. Be back after this.
Welcome back, everyone. First half of basketball here in the ACCC, the Alabama Community College. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with it. I just had the biggest brain fart. Alabama Community, <laughs> community College Conference. I knew that off the top of my head, but I guess it just lost my train of thought. 24-22, 5.05 remaining here in the first half. Highly competitive game. Abdul gets it. McIntosh, who's been fairly quiet here, Richard. Yeah, averages 16.8 points And loses it out of bounds. McIntosh has six. He is tied for the leading score for the Coyotes. The Coyotes out of Monroeville. Monroeville. Which, they have two, two different satellite campuses, one down in Minette Bay. It's all in Mobile area. Yeah, and Monroeville I know very well. It's Monroe Academy, school that oh, what a move. I used to play against. And Mari Hamilton shows his repertoire with that spin move and footwork, and it gives them a four-point lead. On the other end, though, Wild Shot gets his own rebound and gets fouled. And Whitehurst is going to the line as Coach Bird pleads to his team to rebound. Joshua Whitehurst, he averages 10.2 points a game. First free throw is good. Yeah, Coastal Alabama's not going away. Anytime CVCC gets a big lead, Coastal Alabama's right there to answer with big buckets. Second shot makes it a two-point deficit for the Coyotes. Speaking Ooh. of buckets, our man Jonathan Shushke, a.k.a. Buckets, is calling a big game on ESPN Plus tonight. How about that, Richard? Good transition. Nice job. I was thinking about that. <laughs> I saw that on Facebook. He's got a suit. He's right. got the microphone. And he's and coming. He comes in professional, no doubt. Oh, yeah. Hamilton to Tim James. Back to Hamilton. Hamilton drives. Hamilton oh, finishes. What a move. Left hand and layup is strong. He's got 11 points. Pull up three, Whitehurst. That looked pretty as he hits a big time shot to make it a one point game. That was a good shot, it was contested and he's able to knock it down. Coming off the screen, got his feet organized for the knockdown tray. Hamilton, he's gonna shoot a deep three, he misses. Coyotes can take a lead on this possession. Abdul. A Whitehurst, other side, connects. Whitehurst, back-to-back -back jacks, and it gives Coastal Alabama the two-point lead. Six points in a 20-second span. Kind of reminds me of Reggie Miller at the Garden. 2.30. Hamilton, Marsh. The Wiltshire, top of the key, three, that good. Was big. They needed that one. Back and forth they go, 31-30 now. Both teams in the bonus. They will shoot free throws if they are fouled. Abdul, step back to air balls. Marsh on the fast break to a wide open Hamilton who gets a block, gets his own rebound, and misses again. But tip in is good from Andrew McKinday. And CB a back up three. Just a hustle on that play to get that bus bucket has been incredible. Whitehurst thought about shooting it. He's going to drive instead and throws up a wild shot and makes it. 
This guy's heating up. He's got eight points here in the first half. McKinde, last... what a pass from Marsh, and he, oh, he travels. Traveled. Yeah, Whitehurst has scored the last eight points for uh, Coastal Alabama. <laughs> As the regular season winded down in the ACCC, we just got a couple more games left until we get into the playoffs. Yeah, a couple more Thursdays for and play playoff games, and that's it. Nice pass. And foul by Che Evans. So here we are at CVCC, just off 280 in Phoenix City. You go a little bit further, you'll find where we were Tuesday night at Russell County. Kind of the same area, just on the outskirts of the Phoenix City limits. Evans makes that one. It ties it at 33. So tomorrow, we'll, Richard, you'll be in Cecil. I'll be at Pacheric, Pacheric, Pacelli Heritage. Pacelli Heritage. And it's combined both schools, which if you combine both those basketball programs, they would never lose a game, regardless of classification and the league they play in. Hamilton drives, misses. Yeah, he's got to get a little bit stronger on that layup. Yeah, good take, though. Got to finish. I'm with you. And he's been able to so far. That one just came up short. White Earth pulls up and hits it. Cannot this leave him open. Is, he's coming off screens. He's, he's hot. And catching and shooting. He's coming off screens from the dribble, doing it all and just knocking it down. He's got... 13 already, Richard, who leads the game in scoring. Tim a great James, game. Hamilton, who leads CV with 11, gets an and one himself and ties it at 35, and he's got 13 now. Hamilton and Whitehurst putting on a show here. Yeah, Amari Hamilton, leading scorer for the CVCC Pirates. Whitehurst, I mean, he's having a surprising 13 points. He only averages 10.2 points a game. Yeah, this Coyotes team does not play like a 2-7 and seven team. They look like a, a, a team that's like one of the top teams in the division. Mm -hmm. Shot no good. Wide open is McIntosh, who spins into a layup. Two seconds, one, halftime, good if it goes, and it doesn't. And Coles, Alabama is going to go to the half up by two here on Georgia. Alabama Sports Live will be back after this.
Welcome back, everyone. Colts, Alabama leads CVCC 37-35 here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. And I was just talking with Richard Holdridge. He just told me oh my some goodness. horrible news. Horrible news. They just announced the reserves for the NBA All-Star Game, which will be February 18th in Indianapolis. And Trey Young, Ice Trey from the Atlanta Hawks, left off the roster. No Are Hawk. you kidding me? Richard, tell everybody where they, you can – they can listen to your rant tomorrow. Oh, huh? yeah, the sports view with Richard Holdridge on WQEE. <laughs> I will go off on this. And we'll talk about it on Georgia Alabama Sports Might Live Might spend show the first 20 minutes of the show talking about it. So second half underway, Coastal Alabama has been safe. And look, there's a CV turnover right there. Coastal Alabama played an excellent first half, led by Whitehurst. He has 13. Here's some of the other leading scores for both teams, Richard. We got Amari Hamilton with 13 for CVCC. Tim James Jr. pitched in with seven. And Amar Wincher with six coming off the bench. How about Amari? Abdul. Oh, he had a room to shoot that one. Three-pointer on the way short. Whitehurst. He got his own rebound. Misses. And here comes CV on the transition. Marsh. In and out. Tim James. Wilcher. Cut oh, from that downtown. Extra pass. And it makes it 38-37. CVCC with the lead. Wilcher with nine points. It was that extra pass that really factored in to uh, getting that shot. He's a catch-and-shoot guy. He he knew his spot, and he was able to bring it down. Oh, big turnover. And here comes Tim James Jr. to Marsh. Marsh to Hamilton. Hamilton spins back out to Marsh. Marsh drives, floats it up, and out oh. of the, And Williams gets it ripped, and then he tackles Whitehurst. Just the momentum, it looked like that shot was going in. It rattled in and out, and just the way it was positioned, it, it's just hard to determine where that ball is going to bounce. You coming up with a rebound, that's just a frustration foul. I'll tell you what, if I'm excited about tomorrow, you're going to be at Pacelli. I'm going to be at Macon East for the region championship. I might even stop at a little place on I-85 somewhere. And you pretty much know what I'm talking about. Ain't no doubt you're going to Bucky's. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say the name, but uh, hey, we... but Bucky's sponsor anything that we do. <laughs> and look at that, get... <laughs> and one from McIntosh. Nice move from him. Mikey McIntosh puts the, the Coyotes up by one. He has a chance to extend it to two. It's the free throw. Yeah, once again, this Coastal Alabama team is not going away. In fact, they do have the two-point lead. Marsh misses rebound Alabama from Coastal. Evans and was trying to find McIntosh. McIntosh wasn't even looking at him. It's just some miscommunication. Ball sails out of bounds back to CVCC with a chance to tie it. I was looking at the scoreboard for high school basketball. Not a whole lot of action tonight. We do have the area tournaments coming up for Smith Station, Central, Russell County. That's going to be happening next week. But, of course, Glenwood had the upset of all upsets last night against Springwood, the number one seed. Incredible win by the Glenwood Gators. Congratulations to Coach Dusty Purdue. They're off to the region championship where they'll face Lee Scott once again. 
Hamilton drives, blocked oh, what a from block. Evans. And Evans is going to go coast push. to coast oh. and lay it in. That was all power. Evans with the block and the lay. Al Coast Alabama's up by four. Yeah, this is the largest lead of the game for Coast Alabama. Marsh. Hamilton needs it, and finally a shot Huge goes shot. from the leading scorer, Hamilton. They're down one. When they need a big bucket, Omari Hamilton comes in the clutch. Abdul to Purifoy. And here comes Whitehurst coming off screens, trying to get an open look. They're going to find Evans deep in the post, and he finishes again. And he's eating right now. Is Evans on both ends of the court. It's a strong move to get a big basket. Wilcher is going to shoot a, a deep three. No, Hamilton gets a rebound, goes baseline, pump fakes, loses the ball, and a foul on Che Evans. Yeah, Mari Hamilton caught a break. Che Evans with a foul right there. It looked like the ball was going out of bounds, but Hamilton is going to go to the line for two. Makes the first free throw is Amari. Gives him 17. I feel like he's going to wait for a 30-point night, Richard. Close to a scoring average. I mean, he's going to get past his scoring average. He, he's now at 18. And now CVCC trails by one. Marsh tries. His best to save that from going out of bounds. Valiant effort. Try to get a turnover and get a stop. See if we can find any other games going on in the area. Abdul loses it and walks right out of bounds, and that's you're going to call a travel first. So in our league right now, Then the games are C State taking on Reed State, Marion and Wallace, Coastal versus CVCC, LB Wallace and Enterprise. All happening right now. Remember, this is Coastal Alabama North. There's also a Coastal Alabama South, Richard. That's the one in Minette Bay. So there's two Coastals. And one, Coast Alabama South plays Division One. North, obviously, right now in Division Two. If you're CV, you want an upset from Snead and Reed State. And Thrift, I gotta say, last night Richardson played Aaron Cone in middle school for both boys and girls. Incredible atmosphere. Yep. Aaron Cone came in undefeated. And now undefeated Richard, no more. Richardson, number one seed, and great defense from CV. Tim James drives baseline, finds Wilter. Wilter cross court and has it stolen and read by Purifoy, who drives and gets hammered on the head. First free throw, no good. Also, Thrift, we got the senior, senior Bowl coming up this Saturday and down in Mobile. A lot of Georgia and Alabama players playing in that game. Ladd McConkey, Chris Braswell for Alabama. Big bras. Any, any Auburn players playing in the uh, Senior Bowl? There's definitely some. Well, I know Hugh, Coach Hugh Freeze has got a young team. Good move from Marsh. Not able to finish. Nice Gets in. a rebound. Turns around. Goes up strong again. Left hand short. Ball goes out of bounds by McKenday. Back to Coastal Alabama North. That was good defense by Coastal Alabama. And 
with a one-point lead, and they, they're getting the ball back. McIntosh. Whitehurst can't give him any space. He sees a sliver of daylight. He's going to let it fly, oh, yeah. and it's going to go down. And there's another three from Whitehurst. And Alabama, Coastal Alabama's up their biggest lead to now four. Hamilton drives. Hamilton short. Rebound Evans. Foul on McKende. CVCC has got to be careful. They don't want to let this game slip away from them. And now a media timeout will take one since we're the media here. George Alabama <laughs> Sports Live. We'll be back after this. Welcome back, everyone. Brett Berenger, Richard Aldridge. Richard, can you give some shout-outs to our sponsors? Oh, absolutely. Superior Roofing, Rocket Stone, LLC. Carol Purdue, State Farm. Happy Hour Bar and Grill. Mike and Ed's Barbecue. Terry Johnson Agency, St. Ampicelli, Master Wall Incorporated. Berenger Construction, PB Broadcasting, Double Coverage. And Sports Visions, I was actually listening to you and DJ Jones on the way to CVCC. A great show. Got, jo got, to, got to hear George Williams. We, we were part of the George Williams Thanksgiving Classic. Got to meet him and just a phenomenal coach in this area. Yep, we did. And then both his sons coaching at a high level too. Three-pointer, no. Rebound. Got to get that rebound. CVCC needs a stop here. I mean, there's pl plenty of time. There's 13 minutes left to go, but you just don't want the momentum to, to slip. Mari Hamilton's got it. Wilter, back to Hamilton. And And I was looking uh, across social media. I mean, th there are some basketball games tonight, just not in the Columbus area. I know that uh, Callaway was uh, playing Valley. But uh, trying to get all the score updates as much as we can. Again, they did announce the reserves for the NBA All-Star Game. Congratulations to first-time All-Stars, Jalen Brunson, Tyrese Maxey, and Paolo Boncaro. Well-deserved. Mainly because of, you know, their teams are in playoff contention. McIntosh tries to cut in. And Alabama... It's going to pull it out. 
Right now they have a four-point lead over CVCC. This would be a huge loss for CV if they're not able to win it. And right now tied for second. And Whitehurst. Turnaround jump shot, no good. Battle for the loose ball. Timeout, Coastal Alabama, 32nd. We'll take one, two. George Alabama Sports Live will be back after this. Welcome back to CVCC. There's a little hook shot up and in by Mikey McIntosh. It's a six point lead for Coastal Alabama North. Comes Elijah Marsh running the point, taking it across the timeline. Drawing up the offense, Tim James Jr. looking for the screen. James, nice pass to the boss man. Goes up and gets it stolen by Whitehurst. And Whitehurst has played a phenomenal game, Richard. He has he knocked has. down a lot of shots. 16 points for Joshua Whitehurst. He had a big steal there as and well. And remember, they're, they're without their second lead score. We have not seen them at Rontavious all, Richard. Rontavious Blackshear. Yeah, Blackshear. So Whitehurst is coming up big for him, and McIntosh has the ball go out of bounds. It's going to stay with Coastal Alabama. And then we're going to start to see Mikey McIntosh start to heat up as well. I'll tell you, this is a very talented team. Good defense by Marsh. But and a block. That they're going to say foul. It's going to send now. Number 24, Breshawn Williams to the line now to shoot two. We've had a good game so far in a, in a busy day here at CVCC Basketball. Congratulations to Coach Richardson and the CVCC Lady Pirates for winning the first game in overtime to Coastal Alabama. That was a big win because Coastal Alabama was in first place in the division. Pirates need a basket here. Behind the back, Marsh to Hamilton. Hamilton trying to shake and bake. Give it a ball spin. Ball spin. Pump fakes. Gives it to Marsh. Marsh to a cutting Tim James. James, her first lap, it scores. And a quick timeout. Another 30. Georgia Alabama Sports Live. We got a good one. 49 45 here with 10 minutes left in the second. We'll be back after this. Welcome back, everyone, 49-45. Yeah, this, this is where uh, CVCC needs to get a stop. 
Down by four. Ten minutes to go. Got to get a turnover. Good defense. And they're actually going to call a foul there, Richard. Yeah, they call a foul. Got to watch out the fouls. You don't want to foul out with ten minutes left to go. So through this weekend, the River Dragons are in action. You got uh, Teacher Appreciation Night on uh, Tuesday or on Friday. I know that you're a teacher. And then Military Night on Saturday. Parker, Williams, Miss, McIntosh put back no, out of bounds, back to CVCC. That's the stop they needed to get, down by four. It's still a two-possession game. But they've only scored CV eight points here in this first ten minutes of play in the first, excuse me, second half. Well, and from experience, as you know, any team can come back from any deficit. Just ask uh, Alabama last night to Georgia. Tim James, look at that. Open. Nice move. It's Hoover and scores. Micah. Excellent Micah with pa big Excellent pass from Tim James Jr. Yeah, Micah Hoover. He's been quiet on the scoreboard. He only has three points, but he's really a, a defensive specialist. He's in for block shots, rebounds. But you get him open, he, he can make buckets. Whitehurst, one of a rare miss. Out of bounds, back to CB again. Yeah, Whitehurst. You know, Every time a, he shoots it, it looks like it's going to go in, it, Richard. Yeah, he's a very high volume shooter. I mean, CVCC catches a break when Whitehurst, Whitehurst misses a shot. But they're going to rely on him to just keep shooting because that's the type of player he is. And Hamilton's going to drive. Lane. Hamilton fouled. He saw the open lane. He's just going to take it all the way. Just a strong body, just powers his way to the glass. And CVCC has a chance to tie the game. 8.43 left to go. Big free throws here for Hamilton. Yes. and ties it at 49 with 8.43 remaining. Amari Hamilton with 20 points. Yeah, score update, Valley defeated Callaway 78 to 61. Their only that loss was to Auburn. Whitehurst. That's three in a row. He's another, missed. And then a miss. foul on McKenday. Boxing out. Evans. And they're in the bonus. That means free throws for Che Evans. I'll tell you, Che Evans, even though he only has five points, he has just been just one of those enforcers. He's just a big bruiser. He had a big block. He can go coast to coast, drive the lane. And he's really a defensive specialist. But he can make a big bucket if they need to. But they haven't had relied on him. Well, he's coming up big here in this one. Yeah, leading scorer for Coastal Alabama is uh, Joshua Whitehurst with 16 points. Mikey McIntosh has got 13. You miss it, but a good offensive rebound by Mac Mikey McIntosh. Dab duel. Jay. Shot clock at five. Needs to get a shot off, and Abdul misses. Rebound, Hoover. Wilcher. Got Marsh and Williams on the bench. See if Coach Bird gives him a little breather. Right 
Shot clock to seven. Hamilton short but gets fouled. Good strong move by Amari Hamilton. He's able to draw the foul. With 7.31 left to go here in this game. Will we have another game like the girls game where it goes down to the wire? We shall find out. And free throw is no good. Yeah, Hamilton leading the team, averaging 22.2 points a game. And misses, misses them both. Oh, huge misses. Wow. Abdul. And throws it between the legs Under of Jim the, James wow. Jr. No and look to McIntosh who goes up strong. That was a nice move. Finds a weak point in the strong in the zone defense, and he goes up strong for the layup. And Wilcher almost loses it. He's able to get it back. Tim James, no rebound. Hamilton goes up and lays it in and fit back to uh, one point deficit. Another timeout, George Alabama Sports Live. We're going to be back after this. Welcome back, everyone. Thrift Barringer here with Richard Holdridge on George Alabama Sports Live as CBCC is down by one against Colts Alabama North. CBCC is trying to stay in one of the top two seeds as Colts Alabama is trying to get a huge upset on the road, up by one. Zone defense, 2 3. Whitehurst finds McIntosh somehow. McIntosh has got to shoot it. Not enough time nope. and good defense from CVCC. Shot caught violation. That's the type of defense that you got to play is just to work the shot clock. It looks like we get another timeout. Well, we'll say it's immediate timeout. George Alabama Sports Law <laughs> taking another break. Sponsored by Pacelli Vikings. Superior Roofing. Mike and Ed's Barbecue, Happy Hour Bar and Grill, Double Coverage, State Farm Carol Purdue, Terry Johnson Agency, Master Wall Incorporated, Behringer Construction, p and Broadcasting, Sports Visions with yours truly, Thrip Behringer, DJ Jones. George Alabama Sports Live back here at CVCC down by one, 52-51, with 6.15 remaining here in the second half. Hey, 
And Extend this Marsh. Lead. Rebound. Colonel Marsh. Gives it to James Jr. No, Hoover oh, there with a cleanup. CV up one. You know, that's a, that's a good Hoover with the cleanup. Hoover a vacuum. And there was a dad joke from Richard. Gotta, fi gotta find the pun somewhere. You gotta have a dad joke. You are a dad, though, so it makes sense. <laughs> Abdul, three, no. Whitehurst, rebound. Abdul, excuse me, Whitehurst. Big three. Another three from 21. 19 points for Joshua Whitehurst. And Hamilton drives. He misses in short. It's not strong enough. Here comes he Abdul. Finish. Abdul finds uh, cutting Whitehurst, who lays it up. No, they're going to get an offensive foul. They're going to say McIntosh with with an illegal hook, and it's gonna go back to CV. It looked like he was trying to go for a pick. He was trying to give Whitehurst an open lane. Well, if I'm Whitehurst, I'm letting that thing fly from the from the arc. I know he had the open lane, but right now, you, your threes are almost as good as layups. Well, his threes are starting to fall down. He missed like the last three. And another foul from Hamilton. And Wilcher tries to dribble through three people and has it stolen. So Thrift, I'm excited. Come July, NCAA Football 25 is coming to PS5, Xbox. I think that's fake news. Until Ninten I see it, <laughs> I'll believe it. When it comes on the Nintendo Switch, then I will I will get it. And look at that, another offensive rebound. Abdul Whitehurst, another three short. I think that was partially blocked, but another foul. Four forty one left to go here in this game. We've really had good crowds. I mean, the Communities come out to support CVCC Athletics. This is an amazing girl, <coughs> girls game and that went to overtime. Congratulations to Coach Richardson. They end up getting the win. They draw a little bit closer to Coastal Alabama and Sneed State in the division. Oh, two yeah. big three throws. Good shot there. And... Marsh misses, rebound, Hamilton lays it in and makes it a two-point deficit. Big rebound from Amari Hamilton. Him and Whitehurst. 24 points for Amari Hamilton. McIntosh spins. Misses the lay, gets his own rebound. Good defense by Hamilton, making sure that Whitehurst did not shoot that. And ha Jim James Jr. almost had the steal. Whitehurst is just gonna pull it up That's, and hit it. It's hard to stop because Hamilton had a hand in his face. Uh, right in the grill of Hamilton. 22 points for Whitehurst. And Wilcher answers on the other end. That was big. They needed that. Wilcher's had himself a game, 12 points off the bench. 60 to 58. I'll take it, trade threes. They gotta get a stop here with 3.20 left to go. Shot clock. Abdul, nice pass, out of bounds. Purifoy, back to CV. Timeout, Colsa, Alabama, full timeout. We'll take one, two, Georgia, Alabama Sports Live.
60 to 58, 3 0, oh, 3 remaining here. And what has been a fun basketball day at CVCC. The CVCC girls who were in third place upset the number one Coast Alabama North girls in what was a fantastic overtime game that came Free down basketball. to the wire. And this one is Looks like doing it's the down same to the wire thing. Too. Pirates need a bucket. Boss man to Marsh. Marsh to Hamilton. Hamilton dumped down. Williams out of bounds. So Stays with CV. With you at Pacelli, I'll be at the region championship. We, we still got a bunch of high school basketball. Carver is hosting Chris County. Columbus hosting Thomasville. Shaw Hardaway. Oh, the boss man. Give it to him. We're tied. 60 to 60. This one. Who's going to make the pressurized shots? Look at that. Open as McIntosh. Terrible defense from CV. How can that pass be made that far away? Over three CVCC defenders. Wilcher, the boss man, he loses it. Whitehurst. To a cut and McIntosh, it was oh, blocked oh, oh, oh. by Tim James Jr. on All the other ball. end, and Hamilton ties it at 62. What a block! That was from all Tim ball. James Jr. Four-point swing, right there. Instead of being down by four, they're tied. Thirteen on the shot clock. Pulls up Purifoy short rebound McIntosh and he scores. Just been eating all day off the rebounds and just giving Coastal Alabama so many second chance points and another timeout for CV. They're down two. We'll be back after this. Welcome back, everyone. A minute and 25 seconds left in this one. CVCC has the ball. They're down by two. Hamilton's got 26. Who's going to come up clutch for the Pirates in a much-needed victory? They need this one to stay in second place. Marsh. To Bossman Williams, London, sizing up and loses the rock. Collects himself, gives it back to Marsh. Marsh spins, finds an open Tim James who lays it off the glass at end, but that was all set up by the point guard, Elijah Marsh, and we're tied at 64. Colonel Marsh with a big assist. Colonel Marsh, I like it. Colonel Marsh. Well, that is the nickname that uh, Robert yeah, Edmonds. Robert's is, got so many great nicknames. He's got some good nicknames. Yeah. The Colonel with the great pass. Drive, and that's going to be a foul. Too many bodies there. As Hamilton and Tim James going after the same person. I think if one of them was there, probably wouldn't have got a call, but because both of them sandwiched. Purifoy, he's going to go to the line now with 38.8 remaining. Go, 
Got to say a big shout out to the CVCC Lady Pirates. No good. Showing their support. They're down in the front row cheering on the Pirates. They got the softball team here too, some baseball players. The school showing each other support as all athletic programs under one university or college should do. And second free throw, not even close. So, and that's going to automatically go back to CV. Pure Foy to even hit the rim on that one. Well, there's 38.8 seconds. Eight seconds between the game clock and the shot clock. Abdul's going to come out, though, into the game. Is Michael Willis, also Breshawn Williams with McIntosh, Parker Williams, and Whitehead. Whitehurst, excuse me. 30 seconds. They want to take off as much time as possible. Yeah, you don't want to give them any time if you get a bucket here. Marsh. Williams trying not to set the string too soon. 10 seconds. Marsh. To Hamilton, Hamilton drives, Hamilton gets a blocking call, misses the shot, but will go to the line to shoot two free throws. With 13.4 seconds left to go, he has a chance to give CVCC the lead once again. It's been a while, Coastal Alabama has, has led the most of the second half. Full timeout from Coastal Alabama, trying to ice Hamilton as he's going to the line to shoot two huge free throws. 13 seconds left. We'll be back after this. Welcome back, everyone. 13.4 remaining, and CVCC are, is at the line. Amari Hamilton trying to get points number 27 and 28. It's probably most important points to put CV up by two with 13.4 remaining. I think the strategy for Coastal Alabama North is that they'll have the final possession, whether or not they're down by two or down by one or still tied. That's that's what they wanted. And right now, Hamilton's trying to fix his contact. He's definitely going to need a C to shoot these free throws. And short on the first. CVCC needs to get into their defense. And gets the friendly roll on the second. And Coastal Alabama is going to take another timeout. George Alabama Sports Lobby back after this.
They've had some great players. Welcome back, everyone. CBCC up by one with 13.4 remaining. And we got another full timeout. We're going to take another. All right, we think that is it on the time. Hold time out. And I was trying to call one, too. They didn't listen to me. Well, we do need our media timeouts. That's the four straight timeouts. We do need our media timeouts. Yeah. 65 64. CB's going to play full court man. Can't foul here because you foul. They will be in, they're in the double bonus. Here it is. Down to the wire. Alabama's got it. Coast Alabama, Abdul. He's got only got one. He's got to shoot it. Open his eye. Evan scores on the wide open shot. And they win in dramatic fashion. Did not think Abdul was going to be able to get that off in time. I thought the shot, the clock was going to run it, out. I thought the clock ran out. But he had enough time. It looked two seconds to throw it to an open Evans underneath the basket. An unbelievable game. 66 to 65, they pull out an incredible win here at CV and a heartbreaking loss. That's three straight now for CVCC. As now Coach Bird team goes to six and five. And they go now to six and five. And in the in conference plate, 15 and 9 overall. Man, what a game, Richard. What a game. Richard will try to do an interview with Coach Bird. I know he's kind of upset after that one. Welcome back here to CVCC. I'm here with Coach Bird. Coach, a tough loss right at the end, buzzer beater. Um, fought hard. I mean, it, it was a really good Coastal Alabama team, uh, but really just a back and forth game between two talented teams. Yeah, you, can, you can't give up those um, miss, miss assignments like that. Um, we, we thought about staying in zone like we had been in, decided to go to man, um, and missed the assignment and, and, and they capitalized. Well, and they also got going. Whitehurst just had just incredible threes. Uh, there was times in that second half where Coastal Alabama could extend it out to a double-digit lead, but you, your team just kept just pushing away, chipping away at that lead. I mean, just big baskets by Omari Hamilton. He had 27 points like he's done all season. Uh, what does Amari mean to this team and his work ethic? Uh, 
unbelievable guy. Um, he had, he just got today um, his third player of the week. Nobody in our league has got third player of the week. He's the number one scorer in Alabama and number four in the country. He means a lot to us. You know, we just got to get other guys to, to, to help him and to get into a rhythm where we could, you know, pull off a game. Um, tough back-to-back -back, uh, game, but that's how conference the game's going to be. Um, I, I told him, I said, hey, don't work, look at the record. Uh, everybody's going to be coming at you. Um, any night last week on Monday, the lower half beat the top half in our conference. So uh, hats off to them. Coach, good luck the rest of the way as the regular season winds down. Just a couple more weeks in the regular season, and then you gear up for the playoffs. Yes, and, and you know, one game at a time. Uh, we're on the road on Monday, so, you know, we'll, we'll take off tomorrow and, and, and get back to work. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. That is the head basketball coach of CVCC, Coach Bird. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, sign off here on the broadcast. What's that? Don't forget, tomorrow, Thrift is going to be at Pacelli for Pacelli Heritage. I am going to be at Glenwood for the region tournament. The girls start at 6, the boys start at 7.30. It's a rematch. Part 4 for the girls, Lee Scott. Part 3 for the boys, Lee Scott. It make it east. It's going to be a lot of fun. I want to thank Toygar, our producer, Thrift Barriger. I'm Richard Holdridge, Robert Edmonds. Say it's so long from CVCC as Coastal Alabama defeats the Pirates by one. We'll see you next time. Have a great night, everybody.